Hey everybody, you know who I am. It's Animal Master MTD. Some big things happening in my tank. This is the second update of my 12 gallon nano saltwater reef tank. Got some corals. I got the high fin red banded goby paired with the red banded pistol shrimp. I got two Nunasaria snails. And I got a lot of equipment. As you can see, there isn't much water flow at all. So I bought this Penguin 550 Wave Maker. It's really cool. I haven't installed it yet, but it'll be installed very soon. Corals will benefit from it. Some other stuff I bought was all this stuff down there. Bought some a lot of food. I bought some medicine and this little coral feeder syringe in that cup. But now let me show you some of the corals I got. Okay, right here. Oh, first, let's start with the old one, the candy cane. I found out it is a candy cane because I fed my corals some frozen mycid shrimp just to see if this was a candy cane mainly, and I needed to feed my Rick. So, he took a bunch of big chunks, and let's see if you can get... You can kind of see it. There are a bunch of heads growing in. I don't know if they're heads. I really don't know what they are, but they look like heads. I got the green Recordia. It's a really, really cool coral. It's getting a lot bigger. He took a huge bite of mycid shrimp, but it kind of fell out of his mouth. This, you remember the sponge? It's doing well, getting a little puffier, bigger. Got these really, really nice. They might be my favorite clove polyps. Doing well. They're getting, kind of looks like a little bit taller. They actually, when I got them, I got them from a website and apparently the heads fell off of the cement base. So I had to use, if you ever, if any of your corals ever are off the base, just use this super glue just any you can use basically any type of glue that's gel and it works really great uh, same thing happened with the recordia that it works really well i was a little worried at first because i wasn't sure if they were gonna live or not they didn't look too good I'm a little disappointed with the cloves they're not open that often I'm surprised they're open right now yesterday they were only open for about an hour they used to be right there. I just moved them into the shade because I know they're not a big fan of water flow. I got these, these nice atomic green zoanthids. These are really cool. They used to be a lot smaller than that and they are already sp spreading. So that's good. Got these green fluorescent star polyps. Yeah, these are looking real nice. Not all of the polyps are open right now. Not all of them ever open, really. But I got some nice, really cool green tint. I'm getting a lot more coralline. I'm getting a lot more, like, little pores and holes. Cleanup crew's doing well, as you can see. There's my red leg hermit crabs. Oops, sorry. There. Why isn't I... Can oh, there we go. There's the turbo grazer snail. He's getting massive. He's a bit destructive. A little too big for my tank. It's the Tonga Fighting Conch. I don't know where my Tunisaria snails are. Nor my Astraea snail. I found out my Astraea snail, I've been seeing them a lot more. If I put one algae wafer in, all the snails, they just charge for it. And I think my Tunisaria snails were fighting. I don't know if I have too many snails. I think I might, but hopefully they'll do well. I've been rearranging the live rock. That, all those used to be right there. And that, that came out of nowhere. Maybe my Estrella dug it up. This, it used to be right there. That used to be right there. I'm moving things around. Did a lot of landscaping yesterday. Remember that rock that was right where my star polyps were? Well, I took that out because 
the manager of my local fish store gave it to me. She said there was button polyps, but it was just ugly. There weren't any button polyps on it. This, it's no more, there's no flush on that. Oops, sorry. No more flush on that, so I'm gonna cut that off soon. Hopefully the new heads will be good. Those heads, I mean, when I fed them, they took big bites of ice and trim. And they all closed up, it was pretty cool. I bought, get around, I bought a new shell for my hermit crabs. I have two, I don't know where my other one is, but whoever sheds their shell first gets it, and I'll buy a new one. I think it's too big for them, though. It's pretty big. It looks like it was painted on, but I made sure it wasn't, because I know somebody who bought a painted shell, and the hermit crabs died or something because of it. I don't know. Now the high fin red banded goby and the red banded pistol shrimp. They're pretty cool. The goby almost, he didn't come out once. He stuck his head out a bit. They have all sorts of holes and little burrows in this piece of live rock. The pistol shrimp comes out more than the goby. He took a big bite of mycid shrimp and krill. He lives in that little burrow. Their main burrow, let me see if I can get around. Their main burrow is right in there. Sorry about that, it's just an algae feed I fed them. My hermit crabs love them. But their burrow's right there. They really don't come out much at all. A little disappointed about that. I should be getting more fish soon. I was originally gonna get an orange lion cardinal, firefish, and a redhead goby. But I might not be able to because almost every website I've been on in my local fish store, they just, they're all sold out and they can't get them. So they can all get the firefish, but I think I might get a green banded goby instead of the redhead goby. And I might get a royal grama. I'm not sure. I've heard they can be a bit scrappy, but I might get a royal grama instead of the orange line cardinal. I looked at other cardinals, like the pajama cardinal, but... Some people have said, oh, is that a diatom? Oh, so sorry. Some people have said that they have to be in 30 gallon tanks. I don't believe that, but might as well go on the safe side. And there was also this cardinal that was really silver. I, don't, I forget the name. I think it's like the, the Fowlaria, but that's not very cool. I don't like it. I like colorful fish. But so I'm probably going to get the Royal Grandma. Tell me what you think of the tank. I hope you enjoyed it. It's Animal Master MTD. Happy reefing.